I'm just gonna show how I've been polishing and waxing my truck here. So I'll just go over everything you're gonna need. You're gonna want some spray detailer um, or cleaners of some kind. You're gonna need a clay bar kit. And this is Meguiar's Polish. You could use any brand. This isn't sponsored, but this is just what I've found and uh, read good reviews about. So there's compound, polish, and then a glaze. So depending on how bad the paint is, you could just do a one step or a single stage and just do a polish, or you can do a two stage, a compound, and then a polish, or you could do like a three stage where you do a compound polish and a glaze, and then wax to protect it. And there's also like heavy cut and stuff like that for really bad scratches but this truck is in pretty good condition. So I've mostly just been doing polish over the whole thing. But if there's places where there's just a bad scratch, like you can see kind of right here. So that is a place where I might want to use some compound first and then go to the polish and then the wax or the glaze. So you can use any brand, but that's what I've used. I can put links to those in the description for you. Might have my Amazon affiliate account running by then, not sure yet. So if you do use the link, um, it would uh, give me a commission, allegedly. I'd appreciate that if you did, but um, no pressure. So another thing you're gonna need are a stool, some hearing protection, maybe a ladder to get to those hard to reach places. You're gonna need some microfiber towels, clean and new, and of course, I've been, a neat, I've been using a dual action polisher. This is a cheap polisher I found on Amazon for like 85 bucks on Prime Day, I think, free shipping. It's called the, the Meterick, something like that. It comes with a handle that goes up top that's adjustable and like five different pads. So this is a nice little kit to get started. This uh, is an orange, so it's a medium cut pad. There's different pads for different um, abrasiveness. And there's like wool, which is heavy. And then there's like more finer stuff too. I think it's blue or something, but so that's that. Um, it's about everything you're gonna need. You could use, you could just polish it by hand. Just put it on uh, like a round microfiber circular thing and just just work it in it would take a lot longer but you can still polish by hand just polish out scratches but this um saves you a lot of time and it um doesn't take a professional to use it or learn it so uh yeah so quick shout out to scott if you're watching this thanks for teaching me how to do this um so i'm not sure if you can tell but this front fender and this passenger door, I've already done. So those have been polished and they haven't been waxed yet, but this door hasn't. So let me show you just kind of, kind of the paint here. It's hard to tell cause I'm in the garage, but, but there's a pretty big difference. So, so step one is gonna be to wash the whole truck um, really good and dry it all off. I have washed this truck already, um, but it's been sitting in the garage for like three months. So I've just been using that spray detailer and a couple clean rags just to wipe the dust off because you don't want any dirt on here before you start doing this. So that's step one. And so I still need to wipe the dust off of this panel. This is the kind of the rear extended cab door. I'll just be doing this panel for an example to show you this video. And then it's the same process pretty much on the whole rest of the truck. Done the whole hood and driver's side already, so I kind of know what I'm doing now, so. so. We're gonna start just by spraying some detailer on there. And we're just gonna wipe down all that dust. you get it all cleaned up you're gonna to want to use the clay bar and 
this picks up all of the kind of micro contamination in the paint, like rail dust, uh, pieces of metal, um, sap sometimes, bugs. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but it kind of turns black after you've done it on a panel, and it's kind of satisfying. So uh, after you've used, it, used that side up, you're gonna fold it over a couple times and just kind of work it in and flatten it back out again. And then you wanna keep doing that if you keep seeing dirt in here. And if it's really turning black, you're just gonna throw this away and get a new piece of clay. But this one is still has some life left in it, I think, so. Okay, so now I've kind of got that folded in. It's kind of a newer, newer surface so it can pick up more stuff without marring the paint too badly. And this is where you also want to use some like soapy car wash water or just some spray detailer lubricant because you're going to spray on the paint. Spray this on the paint here. I also just like to spray the clay bar a little bit, get it started. And then just use a few fingers and just lightly run it across the paint. You don't want to push hard because it will scratch and just try to go up and down and use straight patterns just like watching a car you don't want to do swirls and just go all the way across and you'll feel that it starts to get smoother and it, you'll even be able to hear a difference too you'll hear it pick the stuff up and you want to go ahead and do this to the whole panel um, make sure you have a, enough liquid on there to so it's not dry. So one other thing to note is if you drop this on the ground, throw it away. It'll pick up rocks and junk and you don't want that in your paint at all. Same thing with a rag. So after that, doing just that door, I don't know if you can see, I'll try to show, but there's a little bit of kind of, there's a, just a gray tint and there's some blackness, and that's all that junk that this thing just picked up. So that's why we do that. And then after you're done with that, it, the surface will feel like it's already been polished almost. It feels glass smooth. And that's because you're done to, you took out all those abrasions in it. So you're gonna wanna put the clay bar aside, and then take your rag again and just wipe all that detailer spray off because you want it to be dry before you polish. So wipe that off. Make sure there's no drips or anything. So once you're done wiping that down, what you're gonna wanna do is we're gonna start with compound since this door has that scratch in it and give it a good shake. Make sure the lid is closed. What you're gonna wanna do is, since it's a different, it's a different type of polish, you're gonna wanna use a different pad. And so you're not mixing the, mixing the, so you're not mixing the compound and the polish with the same pad. Otherwise, you're kind of defeating the purpose of the polish in a way. So use a different pad and switch it out. Okay, now that I've got this fresh pad on there, I just put some compound on here. I did quite a bit since it's a fresh pad and it needs more to kind of get it saturated. So you can either put it on here or put it on the paint, but just make sure you don't use the bottle cap and scratch that against the paint. So once we have that on here, we can just kind of put that on and then kind of blot it, blot it around and then fire this thing up. All right, after you've done the first pass, you can wipe it off with this. Um, but I forgot to mention, also with the polisher, you wanna go in straight lines, overlapping, 
And then once you go this way, you'll go up and down and watch the corners. You wanna make sure that you're holding it at an angle to where it's as flat as possible and you're not um, burning up these edges too much. So you wanna angle it like here and like here. And it, the curve of the pad or the cushion of it will still get that curve nicely. So once you've done that, you can just buff off this polish. You wanna do it when it's pretty fresh still. Otherwise it kind of dries on there and it gets hard to buff out. And already, I don't know, it's hard to see now, but this, but the scratch that used to be there is hardly visible anymore. I'm trying to show it here. It is darn near impossible to show it on camera but the scratch is like basically gone. So that tells you it wasn't too deep in the surface, which is good. So now you do it again if you think it needs it, or you move on to the polish, and then you do it the whole panel again. And I didn't do down here yet, so you just wanna kinda of remember where you've been and haven't been. So you just keep doing that over and over again. Here's the before. You can see how dirty the paint is. And here's the after. You can see all it is is just the reflection. That's how shiny it is. And that scratch taken out for the most part. Let's see here. I can't adjust this. Another thing to note is you might want some eye protection because you don't want that thing to be flicking wax up in your eyes. So now all I have to do is just pretty much repeat that on every panel.